Hi, in this presentation, we're going to learn how to translate a sentence like this into a compound inequality. And we're only allowed to use the variable, in this case x, once. When you get a question like this, it's best to identify which is the smaller value and which is the larger. So minus 7 is the smaller value and minus 3 is the bigger. So x lies between minus 7 and minus 3. Write the smaller value on the left-hand side and the bigger number on the right-hand side. And then x goes in the middle. And x is greater than minus 7 and less than minus 3. Let's look at another example. Again, we have a compound inequality and we only want to write w once. 3 is the smaller number and 9 the larger value. So, 3 and 9. Well, w is greater than 3 and less than 9. One final example. This time, 4 is the smaller value and 8 the larger number. y is greater than 4 and less than or equal to 8. Make sure you look carefully at the sign that's required. Thank you.